Hello everyone, we're going to check out a new model called Steady Dancer. This is based on the WAN 2.1.14B model and is fine-tuned specifically for dancing motion. What makes it different? Most animation tools use a method that treats the source image and the driving pose sequence as separate things to be loosely combined. This often breaks down with real-world footage. Steady Dancer flips the script. It uses a smarter image-to-video approach, which means it guarantees the first frame of your animation is exactly your source image, locking that identity in place from the start. To pull this off, it has some clever tech under the hood. It uses a condition reconciliation mechanism. A fancy way of saying it perfectly harmonizes what the character looks like with how they're supposed to move, so you don't sacrifice detail for control. It also has specialized modules to adapt the driving poses to fit your specific image perfectly, smoothing out mismatches in body structure or timing. So overall, it's looking pretty good. Even though you can see there's a different camera distance between your reference image and the driving video, the output is still able to produce the same dance motion quality as the driving video. It's also able to support non-realistic characters, as well as cartoon characters, for the driving motion video generated. And since everyone likes to play with TikTok dances, you guys should try this one and compare it with WAN 2.2 Animate. It's a really good experiment to try and compare. Also, some examples show that it's not just for dancing. You can use it with the driving video for other motions as a human character too. So we're going to try that out in Comfy UI because they have this model based on WAN 2.1. And of course, in the open source community, there's the WAN video wrapper to play around with new fine-tuned models and new features. Here they have the Steady Dancer files available, the FP16 version, which is a 32 gigabyte file size, mostly not for average GPUs. If you have lower VRAM and want to run Steady Dancer, you can try the FP8 model, which is 16 gigabytes. So I'm going to try this FP8 model first, so everyone, whether you have high or low VRAM, can see what it looks like. Okay, so here I have the workflow from the WAN video wrapper that has the latest recent update with the example workflow. The Steady Dancer model, whether you save the FP16 or FP8, needs to go in the Diffusion Model folder. Once you put it in there, you use the model loader to choose this Steady Dancer AI model file. The other thing is how it runs, like the VAE loader, Clip Vision, and the text encoder are also going to use the WAN 2.1 models as usual, but something different is that this model is based on image to video. So you're going to provide a reference image like you would with image to video. Here, I have a cheerleader image generated. You can also try using a Zed image to quickly generate something. You might have ideas. Maybe try with Pinterest or whatever. You can load that with Quinn VL and have the text prompt generate this AI image for you. So that's how I got this image. And once I got this image, I tried it with a TikTok video. As we've demonstrated a lot before with other AI models, we use that video as a motion guide with open pose or DW pose skeleton here. But in the WAN video example workflow, it has its own WAN animated preprocessor custom nodes for this. Either way works. I've tried WPOs as well, and it works with that method too. So moving on to the next steps, we're going to use the VAE encode for each image frame from that reference dance motion video that was converted into this open pose skeleton, pass that into the encoder, and this is the new custom node for Steady Dancer, where we're passing the pose latent positive. So as you can see here, after the VAE encode, we get the latent data and put this as the latent positive for the pose. The embed data comes from getting the image, the reference image we're coming back to here, with the connections up here. As you can see, it's image to video encode, where we pass this image embed for our guide reference image. So with the guiding of all this embedding data, as well as having the clip vision embedded, we get the image embed connected to the WAN video sampler. Now, this WAN video sampler is the new way after some recent updates last month, having a separate sampler node and these sampler settings. This is the same thing as the old WAN video sampler node that you can use, but this one is all connected with all these connections, and you have your settings all in one custom node. With the new way of connecting here, we have a separate sampler setting node, giving more modularity, 
where you can have a separate WAN video scheduler that puts all the sampling steps, scheduler method, etc. into the connection. So when you have the WAN video scheduler with the sampling steps, shift number, etc., it will override the settings in this sampler settings custom node. So whatever you change in here, for example, I set the sampler steps to 50 in the sampler settings, but once you have the WAN video scheduler embed connections here, this step 4 will override your settings. The other thing here is the VAE decode once the sampler finishes, and it has the image concatenated to combine the open pose reference image just for demo purposes. So as you can see here, we got the generated result that I just tried out. The dance motion is able to follow just like WAN 2.2 animate. But one thing that's different is when you have a different pose, let's zoom into the full page here at the starting point. As you can see, the reference image I have is in a different pose compared to the open pose first frame. The skeleton positions with the cheerleader image I have are basically in a different pose. So what it does is, during the first second or two, you see in slow camera movement here that the character is going to use some video frames to transition from your first image, the character positions, to align with your open pose skeleton position. So that spends about one second doing this alignment, but the movement of the character isn't going to morph to align with that open pose. Something good about this model is that it goes naturally with this cheerleader character. She switches legs and moves her hand simultaneously to try to follow the open pose skeleton and align the body movement positions. And by the second duration here, it's already aligned with the open pose and starts doing the dance routine. But if you don't want this first second looking different from your original reference video alignment, you can reposition your character pose. That means your image here is super important for the first frame. As this AI model mentions, this is a first frame focused AI model, so you gotta have a pretty good image that references your first character pose in your reference video in order to have a full dance routine or character motion that actually follows through the entire video generation. So what I did is not just use the zap image to quickly generate an image, rather, I also created an additional workflow based on the steady dancer workflow. In this part, this whole group is just the one video wrapper with Steady Dancer, which is almost the same as what we see in the example workflow. But before this, I created a few options with the Quen Image Edit model. So you have, let's say, changing the video character outfit, and the other group I have here, another option is the input image pose match with the video's start frames. This is the one I was talking about. When you have an image input, for example here, Let's say I load this image as a previously generated AI image I randomly picked, and the pose of this character looks different than this TikTok dance video character. So what I did is use this group here, the Quen image edit, and generate this character to align with the same pose as our video reference character. So let's say this is the output called image QE2, and this will be used for our reference image for Steady Dancer. So I put different options here. For example, this Quen edit for changing outfit is called QE1, and I have image QE2, which is aligning with this output. So once you change to align with those options, let's say we run this, you'll see how it looks. It will first load the video reference frames, as well as the image on the top here, and it will first create the actual reference image after Quen image edit generates, and then we'll run the video generation process next. So here we got the example showing the character, as you can see, the pose is aligned with our TikTok dance character's first frame. So the hand is raised up in front and facing forward here. But I also changed the shoes. I didn't want high heels and put the text prompt for black boots. So it changed to look as I expected from Quen image edit. So in the reference image we use, we pass the character image as well as the dance routine pose here. This time, I'm demonstrating using DW pose just showing that it works with DW pose as well. And here I also made a little change for the sampler because this time, as you can see in the logs, there were 405 frames generated. That's spending about just three minutes to run all of it, but it depends on whether your hardware you have according to the sampling time. The one video context option is the key to generating a long length video with the Steady Dancer model. 
Throughout this connection, we don't have any special fancy things for looping or getting long length videos. We're using the WAN video context options with the uniform standard already able to handle each context of 81 frames generated per batch. So what it does here is, when it has a context overlap of 60 frames ticking from the last, we're able to create the dance motion. The character is able to do what it can with DW Pose as well. So, let's bring this to full page. I also connected the audio. So whenever you have a TikTok dance routine or whatever dance routine with music, you can also embed it here. Something worth mentioning is that when we use DW Pose, like some previous AI model frameworks, when the character turns around like this, just by the motions here, I saw this one. The DW Pose turn around, or you have Open Pose turn around. Some other AI models might not be able to handle these motions for character rendering. But in this AI model, it's now able to actually handle that by just referencing the Open Pose or DW Pose character. When it turns around like this, it's able to handle actually turning back. And the cool thing about this model is that it's able to handle the reference image texture. So whenever you have something like hair or a dress, something that, while jumping and moving, will align those objects as well with your character motions, something other AI models haven't done before. This is something that gives higher fidelity for character motions, even though we're just using one image like this. Even though I'm using 480p resolution, pretty low resolution here, you can still see that the character's hair, dress, and body move when some muscles are moving along as well. Those are moving pretty naturally, and I don't need any additional LoRa to do that. So let's try another example that actually has more elements in the image that can affect other objects moving as well. Here, this example, I'm using another image. Another quick, easier way is using load image from URL. So you can try out more different kinds of images for the first frame. Most likely, you can get those on Pinterest. It's really easy to do, you know. Search something with similar styles you want to try out, and you have your TikTok dance video. Because this AI model is made for Steady Dancer, the name tells you already, we're going to animate this Pinterest image. We change the pose using our initial frames from the video and do the pose like this. And then we try another method where I use DW pose here. It actually works in the default example workflow in Steady Dancer that uses pose and face detection with the WAN Animate preprocessor. Coming back to the result here, as you can see, DW pose also works. And there's some facial expression as well that could affect the character a little. So far, it looks okay for a 480p resolution video. You might need to up-res and do a detail enhancer for that as well. That'll be another topic, but you get the idea of the post-processing you'll need to handle anyway. This is how you can have another way to use Steady Dancer, where it could be more customized for the first frames for image-to-video guidance. And also, some examples said that turnarounds have problems, which some video motions still have, You'll get some creepy motions like the head turns around, but the body doesn't. But here, as you can see, we just have this turnaround motion doing okay, where the back of the character turning is still able to maintain that turnaround motion, even just using DW pose. So I guess this works in some videos. So I think the most important thing is that your input image for this AI model, since it's an image to video model type, your first image is very important to align the character pose with the reference video pose. That's why I'm using this method. So as you can see, this is another example where I have a previously generated image standing like this. But my character here, if it's standing in another position, you'll have that first second of different motion for the transition effect that I mentioned. If you want the AI character from your reference image to dance along with the reference video routine from start to end, you'll want to reposition the character like this. So once I have this, this time I'm going to try with pose and face detection. Using the VIT pose, that's what we were using with one animate preprocess to do the pose control net pose here. So here are two methods, using DW pose, as well as following the original example workflow using the one animate preprocessor. You see, especially like I mentioned, the jacket here, when the character motions are dancing and all that movement, you see that jacket and the hair are also moving along with that motion, whereas older video generation, like some similar dance video frameworks, 
are unable to do that. So I'm going to try another way. What I did in this workflow is using the change character outfit. Well, this isn't exactly the standard answer, but just one way I would do if I'm using this framework, and you can think of a lot of possibilities for image editing your first frames to get the best result from video generation. So another method for customizing your first frame to use as the initial image for your video is that you can change the character outfit like this. Well, this is just one method. There are a lot of ways you can do that, like using Try On Laura. Basically, you have the image from the input image here, but this time, this image will act as the Try On reference image. Again, I have this from Pinterest. You know, you can search around. There's lots of different outfit clothing there you can play around with. You can put that with TikTok dance videos pretty much for that theme and vibe. So therefore, I put that in here for this dancer too. This will be used as the output that I put here. Image QE1, which means the image quant edit one for this option. So for the reference image, when we start our video generation, you can choose here among different options that you can use. So once you confirm everything works, then you can enable the sampler and start the video generation. As you can see right now, it's starting to load in the data. Actually, this is pretty fast compared to WAN 2.2 Animate because this is just WAN 2.1, and for my computer, this is just the FP8 model, so pretty lightweight to run in my config as well. Normally, on average, this is also as fast as a WAN 2.1 model compared to WAN 2.2, so here's how it looks when doing virtual try-on using image edit with the same character. Everything looked the same, but we have a different outfit. And you can see that the physics of the dress also follow along with the motions. This is quite different from other image-to-video models you've seen before in previous dance motion models.